show you uh, my street art logo. I make these out of polystyrene and I put these up at various places around town and um, some people notice them, some people don't, but I decided that I would make a uh, new way of making them speed things up and do something a little bit different. So what I decided to do was print out my logo and uh, I'm going to make a concrete version of this. I'll show you how I do that. That uh, image that I printed out and glue it onto a piece of card. Then what I did was I cut out the reverse of the pattern using the cardboard and I've cut each individual piece out and you can see here that there's quite some thin pieces but they still should work out pretty good. A cutter here that I've made using a battery charger and some nichrome wire. I cut the pieces out individually out of a fairly hard grade polyurethane, uh, sorry polystyrene and uh, you can see here this piece is quite thin but the important part is that the bottom piece is cut to scale and everything's perfect so what I've done there now is uh, then glue it all down to a nice piece of timber and I'll next make the border so that I can make the tile that the image is going to sit on. What I've done now is I've completed the boxing and I've filled in the edges here all with some nice filler just to make sure that things come out nice and smooth. The next step will be to spray the whole interior with um, cooking oil and that will then lubricate everything for the mold to release once I've poured the concrete. Just a standard trade mortar which is just add water and I've made that to a consistency that's a little bit like this. I might add a little bit more water to this. I prefer it to be nice and sloppy so it gets in all the grooves and all the all the detail. It makes everything nice and smooth. I'm sure it takes longer to dry but um, I think it works better to get a better outcome. Um, I'll spray the mould with this stuff here. It's just a standard cooking spray and we'll see how she goes. Jake, there's probably a few bubbles more to pop but um, Overall, pretty heavy with it. I'll leave that for probably four or five days before I break that out and I'll show you what it looks like. Thanks. Broken it out of its mold. Here's what's left of the mold. You can see all the interior pieces have all stayed in the concrete, which I made the mistake of last time I made one of these. I'm trying to break it out too early, and you can see there's a few cracks and in here. Uh, the star didn't turn out very well, so I'm going to leave that to dry just a little bit longer out of the mould and then uh, we'll see what it looks like. This is the final piece. took me ages to get all the polystyrene out of the little nooks and crannies and there's a few cracks and bits and pieces. The next step will be to um, tidy this up, smooth it up, paint it so that all the little um, imperfections are hidden and then I will latex a mould to take a casting and I'll show you that in a different video. Thanks for watching.